deep down next on Independent Lens. In November 2010, we celebrated the premiere of Deep Down on Independent Lens, which reached over 1 million viewers in over 350,000 American homes. Mountaintop removal is a crime of geologic proportions. I had no idea is the first thing people say. I had no idea. Mining is our economy. Part of the deal is they're going to offer me money up front. Not everybody has a price. I know you believe that. Bill, I'm going to be in that strip job. Not in my lifetime. This is not going to happen. Since we finished the film, we set out to bring the movie to communities around the country, working with faith-based organizations, environmental action groups, alternative energy developers, students, and local community groups. What we've found is that there is enormous impact in making connections between what happened in the film and what's happening in the communities we visit. So we recently brought the film's protagonist, Beverly May, to a screening in Chicago to connect with activists fighting a different problem with surprising similarities. Not very long ago, I had a horrible fear of public speaking. And here I am in the movie, and here I'm talking in Chicago. It's pretty crazy. In the film, there was definitely so many parallels to the way we were organizing, to the situations that we were in, getting word out, and, and trying to work together to figure out a solution. I'm Ian Viteri. I'm the community organizer, a clean power organizer, trying to shut down these coal power plants that we have here in Chicago. And we're less than a mile from it right now. None of the electricity that is produced from this facility is intended for the city of Chicago. This is crazy. So the coal comes from all yeah. over the place. The electricity is made here, it burn, people are breathing it, and then the electricity gets piped out to somewhere else. So it's a big problem because we get none of the jobs. A lot of people who work here are from the suburbs. We get none of the electricity because it's shipped off somewhere else. And then we get all the pollution, like arsenic, CO2, sulfur dioxide, a bunch of bad stuffs come out of this smokestacks and causes a lot of problems. Little Village and Pilsen are two of the communities that have the two highest rates of asthma in the city of Chicago right now. And not only that, Little Village is getting an increased rate of low birth weight babies. That list of chemicals is exactly what you find in eastern Kentucky. The closer you live to a mountaintop removal site, the more likely you are to have serious chronic health problems, one of them being low birth weight. About half of the coal that's mined comes from these strip mines where they blow the top off the mountain completely. So what happens is this, the water that's running off of these areas is carrying with it the toxins, and then that goes into the public water system. And unfortunately, it doesn't do that for a few years, it does it for a few centuries. And, and of course, people live at the bottoms of the mountains, like me. The blasting causes damage to people's homes. You have to breathe the dust. People can't live, you know, they, they, it's too miserable to live, and so a community that's been together for generations gets dispersed, which I think is probably the saddest part to me, is losing you know, your neighborhood. So then, they burn it for electricity right here. We're trying to pass this new ordinance that would help limit CO2 emissions. And what that really means is it's going to have to, it's going to force these two power plants to shut down and look more into renewables. This is definitely a tough battle, but. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but you got to hang in there. Yeah. <laughs> and the cool thing is that you're so young, you're going to get to see some tremendous changes over the next 10, 20 years, don't you figure? I definitely think this, so. Yeah, yeah, for the better. Bringing Beverly to Chicago, connecting this community with Appalachia, left everyone inspired and has given the film a way to continue to make change beyond broadcast. Mm -hmm.